Hey everybody, Escape211 here, and today we're looking at some more stuff on the test server. We got a new weapon system, actually a new heavy weapon, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, and it is the chain gun, all right? So today we're looking at the 8. I got it on the Humble Lancer here. Uh, but overall, this uh, is a really interesting weapon. It's one that, um, again, has really big magazine as it's considered a heavy-duty weapon. Uh, so it's going to output a lot of potential damage. Um, but it does it based on a build-up mechanic that it has. Its fire rate increases over time the more the trigger is held, the more you um, fire at something. So there is a bit of build-up time with this weapon, but it's one that fires instantly. It's kind of like the spin-up of the minigun, but it's one that will fire directly right away. Um, what's interesting is like all the mix of stats with this weapon and how it actually feels Okay, that's that's the interesting part to me and how I don't exactly know where this is gonna fall But it almost feels like a better version of the carbine family to me All right, so if we look at the overall damage per magazine, this is pretty high You would expect that with the amount of uh, rounds that it has in its magazine and the fact that it has all that build-up time that you're gonna have So there's higher exposure, but this is almost similar per magazine to the uh, carbine 12 Carbine 12 is slightly higher, but not by a whole lot. So that already is impressive numbers on the data sheet. Fire rate is pretty darn high. Um, the reload is a decent nine seconds, but that's not awful. Um, it's certainly better than the minigun, <laughs> which also is interesting of note. Um, and uh, the optimal range is also the other thing. This feels like the uh, pulse cannons to me, but even better, right? The uh, range that this has for optimal range, 75 meters, is pretty darn high. And its max range is also quite good, too. So this actually has a lot of, like, mid to long range or slight end of long range potential. You're obviously going to get beat out by, like, snipers, but a lot of good range for this, which makes a lot of sense because, you know, you're going to want to engage stuff further away to allow that buildup to happen. Um, for all that to get some benefit. The hit cone on it also isn't so bad, but the other really nice thing as you upgrade this is that you're going to have that double damage chance. And again, that's going to feel a lot like the carbines, but it's also higher. So I do think that like this has more potential than the carbine in terms of overall damage, especially as the family of this grows. We're starting with the eight. I'm assuming we're going to have higher variants of it. And when that happens, this could actually be a really good weapon similar to where the minigun sits right now. Um, so if you're not like someone who loves the minigun and you want something that like instantly fires uh, as well as something that has more of like an optimal range, you know, where you can engage stuff a little bit longer, this could be it. Uh, this also has greater accuracy. You don't have the uh, super long reload. You also don't have the um, turning speed that's knocked down for your mech. So, I mean, you don't have as much of those negative sides to minigun, but I think it also outputs less damage than the minigun overall. Not by a ton, though. So I, I still think this is an interesting weapon overall, um, and it could actually find a place for people. But um, as far as the 8 goes, that's obviously the situation where, like, how is this actually going to feel or fit um, within, like, the category of it? So I wanted to leave it where it naturally is, and put it on the Lancer just for something fun maxed out. So my enemies will be tougher, but it's going to sit where it naturally is. Uh, so we're going to see how that goes. Let's uh, let's take it for a spin. Here we go. Ooh, yeah, I like this map. Very good one for Lancer. We'll see how we do. All right, so uh, I'll put my build up for this. Uh, I went with a full suite of implants for this because it does... Move out, guy. Uh, it does the... Um, uh, the reload, it helps with the fire rate, uh, the which is similar to like spin up time for the miniguns. Oop, let me get this guy. He's already in our in our range. Yeah, look at that. That does pretty. Oh my gosh, especially there. I mean, he was a stalker, so he's using his ability. Um, I think these are not fully max max because I'm using a five star instead of like max weapons. Nice, nice. I'll steal your kill. Uh, and you know, so it. Uh, I guess it's equivalent. I was I was thinking I might get max bots, and already we're getting three kills, but I'm doing it mostly by taking other people's kills. Um, so it's not like I'm directly doing all the killing, but to be up here and get some decent decent damage in on this stuff, and I'm already hitting you know my my optimal range on that. Those are pretty respectable numbers. I feel like. I mean, you gotta obviously be in a position that's favorable to you as well as not favorable to getting return fire, um, which isn't always possible, but. 
Yeah, I don't know exactly where the AI sits like with these kind of builds because I'm seeing people use uh, thermal lances. So uh, they're probably not the toughest bots, but I, I, you know, I thought I would get tougher bots. I don't know. Still, it's probably, you know, somewhat equivalent to where it would be in terms of on the, uh, the progress path or the gear hub. Because I've noticed that as I've played with the gear hub, uh, sometimes they'll put stuff, a, you know, a tier above or below me, or even a little bit lower or higher sometimes, and mess with the star rating uh, to try to even it out, at least similar power-wise. So maybe they're doing that with their loadouts, I don't know. But yeah, that look at that, man, that's, that's some good damage. Even though I didn't get the kill on that one, it wasn't bad. Ooh, okay. I was like, I'm not going to have enough ammo to kill this guy, I don't think, but... Sorry, right, somebody else did. Jabs are... Okay, I was going to say, they're not shooting at me. Good, good, they're shooting at the other guy. Yeah, I do notice sometimes, like, you can see a little bit that I shot on the roof. Um, you know, just like you can front load the spin-up time, you can front load some of the fire rate as it goes up. Um, but you, uh, you obviously will lose ammo that way. So it's not necessarily the ideal because you lose some ammo, but it's got a pretty good size clip, so it's not like a bad thing either. All right, we're gonna move in since they only got a little bit left. That was an easy one to sneak in. I think we can get this one too. I just wanna keep range because I don't know what they're running. Here we go. Yeah, I mean, it's that's, that's doing good, man. I'm liking it. This is more fun. I mean, the in combat is more engaging than like stuff you would sit around with. So I like that factor of it. Um, but I can see the, the, the good damage potential, like on targets. Um, obviously, you know, AI may or may not engage me in the same way a player would. So the level of sustained fire and exposure could be a liability when you're talking like high level play. But for, for fun, general play, I'm liking this so far. It feels pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, that's not bad. Yeah, the AI, as you can see in their builds, are not running max stuff, but, um, you know, I I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I can't force them to run max stuff. I don't know. But still, it, it felt it felt good. It felt comfortable to me, I think, overall. Yeah. All right. Oh, the other, uh, the other map. What is this one? Lost City? Uh, I felt like trying Shadow. Um, pretty much the same build. I guess I'll put it up again, but, I mean, it's, you know, you don't really need to see much difference. Um, and again, I'm not running the max stuff, and I'm still at five star, just because I wanted to see what it would be naturally when you get it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get harder bots this time, but... Not bad, not bad. We'll take those out. Oh my gosh! Oh, can we? Oh no, I ran out. Man, I was going to say, I can almost get a monster kill. That was really nice. Yeah, really good early start. We have pretty much all of the, the map here. I don't know if that was a panther or a... Uh, uh, oh yeah, it looks like it is. Okay, so they're running at least, you know, some decent stuff. Where it would be, uh, I guess, above me and where I am right now. I know the minigun six is on. Oh, that's not good for me. Uh, I think is on tier three, tier three or four. So it's gonna be similar to where I'm at. Oh, he's running the VRPGs, but can't land the shots. Yeah, man, that's pretty fun. I gotta say. Even though this is an unrealistic, I think, build for most people, because not many people are going to run a max shadow, especially with something with this level of exposure, and certainly not against players. Fun for playing against bots, uh, but yeah, this is not realistic for what people will do, I think. But it is certainly a fun one to mess around with. Shadow to shadow. But I'm going to back out. My reload isn't bad either. I mean... I'm not using a legendary uh, implant. If I was, it would be even better. But the reload isn't bad, you know? Not amazing, but not bad. I, I can live with it. I mean, seven seconds isn't terrible. It's it's similar to some other stuff. For, for a sustained weapon, it is a little bit long, but you also have more, you know, ammo potential in the chamber. 
So I think there's a trade-off there. Go ahead, waste your bullets. I'm not hitting me. Oh, I thought I would get that one. Guess not. Oh, come oh man, the Aegis. Yeah, I mean, at least we're seeing Aegis, so that means they're in tier five, four or five-ish, somewhere there. I think Aegis is five. Aegis, Aegis. I always say it wrong. I don't know which one it is, actually. <laughs> All right. It does seem like there's a decent amount of AI running. Uh, oh, that was the other thing I was going to say. This, just like the spin-up time of the, the miniguns, if you are able to keep firing it, if you, like, break... Well, I just ran out of ammo to show you, but you probably saw me doing it. But once you get the fire rate to max, if you stop firing for, like, a second and then pick back up, it'll keep your fire rate. You just don't want to wait too long, obviously, and then it'll lose all of its uh, fire rate buildup. But it functions similar to the spin-up time, where, you know, if you shoot a couple bullets, it will stay that fire rate. If you can afford to waste them. Obviously, this has half the ammo capacity of the minigun, but still a lot. 100 bullets, which is, which is pretty darn good. So, yeah, I mean, there you go. Even with a shadow, not doing too bad. Um... You know, I definitely took a bit more damage, but it was still uh, breathable. And uh, yeah, I, I definitely find this weapon fun. I'm interested to see how it plays out overall, like as we get into higher variants for sure. Yeah, you can see how the AI was set up here too. Interesting. All right, so as you can see, I decided to throw Shadow in on that one too, um, just because, you know, Lancer with being so high up, uh, you know, I, I don't know if that's better or worse. I, I just figured I'll try it with both the light mechs. Basically, the idea is that if you have a light mech and you max it out, is this weapon going to be beneficial for endgame? Probably not as good as some other eight energy weapons, but um, buying it for where it would sit in the gear hub and using it at that stage does seem quite viable, especially when I feel like this can stand up decently to end game bots. I feel like when it's in its, its uh, spot, it should be okay. Uh, and then of course, like the higher variants of this could very well be, you know, effective um, at, you know, being in someone's end game hangar. Now, I don't really know what variants we're going to have yet, but we'll see if we see 12s and 16s or one or the other, uh, those may be, you know, decent or viable, but as it goes right now, obviously the eight is not something I think anyone needs to buy right away. It's just something that will be, you know, possibly useful for when you're on the gear hub in that slot to consider, uh, for that spot and see how it carries a little bit later to, uh, other other tiers for you but uh, you guys can let me know what you think I think this is a really interesting weapon I feel like it's really balanced and it could see play for some people that want to engage at range with assault weapons all right so uh, you know let me know your thoughts below and we will see you out there on the battlefield <laughs>